Yo guys, what's up? It's Eric Tube 101 and I just got back from the theaters after seeing A Dog's Purpose, the very first release of it on Thursday afternoon. So I figured I would make this review and give it out to you guys as soon as possible so you can know if you want to go out to the theaters and spend your money on it. So let's get right into the review. So... A Dog's Purpose overall was strange. Uh, it wasn't necessarily that good. Uh, I think the best part about the movie was its portrayal of heaven and reincarnation. I think it did a beautiful job at capturing uh, what death is like and moving on to the next life. And not many movies really touch on reincarnation, although we've seen a few in like the past six months or so. Um, but not really a whole lot of movies do touch on reincarnation. But they did a really good job on kind of touching on it. And it's really a piece. They never really say it's reincarnation. Or uh, they don't really bluntly tell you that it, they're touching on reincarnation. But you can tell what it is. And they have this beautiful shot of heaven and stuff at the end of it. Which I thought was really cool. And this is their portrayal of it was really cool. Um... But the plot itself didn't really make that much sense. And there's a couple parts that just uh, weren't adding up a whole lot. For example, uh, the love interest between the main character and her boyfriend was really weird. Because they stayed like best friends for like a decade. Uh, and they moved in together. She helps them beat cancer. Uh, he helps her get out of a toxic relationship. Uh, and they do all these things like as a couple almost. And they're living together. They're really happy together. But yet they're just friends. Up until the very end of the movie. Which is really weird. Because even if you wanted to portray that uh, Christian uh, good movie type of thing. You could still be in a relationship. Uh, waiting to get married and stuff. But it was like they were friends, 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 like married, kind of. And it was it was kind of weird. Uh, you know, even if you wanted to portray that good Christian relationship, you know, you can still kiss and like make it known that they're in love with each other. But it was weird because, you know, the movie basically tells you that they're in love with each other for like a decade, but stay friends for uh whatever reason and it's just like it felt awkward during the movie to be honest and i don't think i've i could have been related to any other movie i don't think i've ever seen a movie like that where there was a love interest but they just remained friends uh for like years and years and years uh and it's just weird i guess it's for women i guess same with the cute puppy aspect of it um but it wasn't even like a soft, like loving relationship. It was literally, they just had this awkward friendship going together where they had this romance in between their friendship. And so it wasn't even like a soft, loving relationship. It, it's just a weird, like friendship. Uh, and yeah, so that was a weird aspect of the movie. Um, let's see what else is there. The whole, if you're wondering if, the movie has a cute dog selling point, like I just said. Not really. If you're looking to go see um, A Dog's Purpose uh, for the same reasons that you might watch Air Buddies or uh, A Dog's Way Home, I think it was called, that just released a couple months ago about the dog that's like, living in Colorado and stuff and has the finest way like, across America, basically. Uh, that movie that I just released a couple months ago, that was a really cute dog movie. Um, but it's, it's no Air Buddies, really. Uh, a dog's purpose was it, de it definitely wasn't happy look at that cute puppy type of movie a lot of people thought that it was also going to be really super sad I was reading comments on like the trailer and stuff and a lot of people are speculating that's going to be super sad and that they need to bring clean nexus and um and it was really weird because while there was a lot of sad parts it, it almost felt like there was too much sad parts and the sad parts were over dramatized. So they were like, ah, 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 type of thing. And it was just really weird, you know? And 
again, I don't really know how to even describe it because it, it, they really should have been sad parts. So they were just so over dramatic, and there's too many of them. Like there's five different times where a dog dies throughout the movie. Uh, because it's about like dog reincarnation and coming back to help people at the earlier stages in life. And how the same dog basically helps this girl live throughout her entire life. Um, until she's around like her 30s or 40s. She you never really learned her age. But um, so she's like in her 30s and she's about to get married. And when she's so, like at a set point of life, the dog dies again. And they don't show her coming back. And they show uh, the original owner and the dog in heaven together. So I'm assuming... That since uh, she doesn't really need the dog anymore, that that dog's purpose has been fulfilled and he is now running in heaven with his original owner, which was the grandfather of the main character. So the cute dog selling point didn't really work. The plot didn't really work. Uh, And I did like his portrayal of reincarnation in heaven. I thought it was pretty neat. Overall, I would rate this movie a 4 out of 10. It's one of those Netflix specials or wait to buy it on DVD type movies. Uh, You guys know what I'm talking about. The movies that look decent, but you don't really go to see in theaters. I just went because I work at the movie theaters, so I get free tickets. Uh, So I went ahead and go see it, but I wouldn't recommend paying, you know, $20, $40 on tickets and popcorn and stuff to go see this movie. It's not that type of movie. It's definitely like a dvd netflix type movie to where you can wait to go see it or wait so you can see it on your couch and stuff um yeah i just wouldn't recommend going out to theaters uh movies i would recommend going out to theaters so you'll see let me get the list of movies that are in theaters right now obviously there's avengers there's sonic and then uh there's long shot breakthrough I didn't. I I said Sonic. I meant to say Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu is a really good movie. But yeah, movies I might not know about are, is uh, Breakthrough and Longshot. And Longshot was a fantastic comedy, a fantastic political comedy. Personally, I think it was one of the best uh, political comedies I've ever seen, uh, and it was up there in comedies in general as well. Uh, if you're easily offended, you wouldn't like to go see Longshot because they do uh, take shots at Trump and they do take shots at. Uh, liberal journalist type people as well and it's all around hilarious that uh they took so many shots at so many different aspects of the political realm and so i do love long shot you should probably go see that and breakthrough was also a really good uh christian religious movie if you're into the uh religious scene even if you're not a christian if you believe in some sort of god you will probably love breakthrough uh, but other than that, Long Shot is really good if you're into American politics. And Breakthrough is really good if you're into religion. Detective Pikachu, if you're looking for a cute puppy type movie. I know uh, Pikachu isn't a puppy, obviously. But he, he's kind of sold like a puppy. He's like, here, here's this cute little uh, character type of thing. So, I think Detective Pikachu is your go-to movie if you're just looking for like a cute movie to see with your family whatever detective pikachu is definitely that movie long shots a great comedy movie breakthrough is a great christian movie and then obviously avengers uh anybody who wanted to see avengers though has already seen it most likely uh but yeah so that's been it for the review and i'm eric tube 101 signing out peace